Number four, starting to look a little harder. F equals C, D cubed. Ooh, let's do that. Okay, F equals C, D cubed. And uh, if F equals 450 and D equals 10, what is C? What do you do? Very simple. Plug in the numbers they give you. So they said F is 450, plug that in. What do they say C was? Um, well, we're looking for C. What do they say D was? 10. All right, so D is 10, and they say to cube it. All right, so what do we do? We cube it. So 450 equals 10 cubed is 1,000. C, right? 1,000 times C. And now we want to solve for C, so we divide by 1,000. And that's your answer. Hopefully you recognize, well, use your calculator if you want, um, but hopefully you'll recognize that as 0. 0.450 or just 0. 0.45. And... Um, that's the answer, F. Just a simple little arithmetic question. Uh, could a second grader do it? I don't know if a second grader knows how to cube things yet, but if the teacher told them just multiply by itself three times, they go, okay, 10 times 10 times 10, they can do it. It's a simple little arithmetic question. Um, but again, it's made to look hard, right, to the average student. Um, very, very simple stuff. By the way, I mentioned the calculator. You can use a calculator on the ACT, um, but you don't need it. The test was designed to be taken without calculators. You weren't allowed to use calculators on the ACT until 1997. What's that, 23 years ago. Uh, and I was teaching the ACT long before that. And uh, students uh, before 1997 were taking the test without calculators. And, you, and they haven't changed the test at all since then. So you're taking essentially the same test with calculators that students just like you 23 years ago were taken without calculators. So the calculator is fine, use it, you know, obviously it's helpful. You probably think you need it, you don't need it. Um, I'm telling you this uh, so that you don't feel like you're a slave to your calculator. Um, and also, you know, for example, if you forget your calculator on the way to the test or the batteries die or you drop it and it breaks, you don't need the calculator. You'd be fine without it, okay? It's not a calculator test. Um, all right, um, number five.